Hey there! So I wanted to make this video about the design on my graduation cap. It says God is light in scientific translation. You can see the little photon there. <laughs> um, I am thankful for my friend for helping me paint this. And I chose this uh, topic uh, with light because Light has just played such a significant role in my studies as a biochem major um, during my time in college, and I just get awestruck every time I learn more about it. Um, and for me, uh, as I was remember studying for my biochem exams and having to learn the units that fit into the different wavelength regions, I realized there were seven categories of light. Um, there's gamma, X-ray, UV, visible, infrared, microwave, and radio waves. Um, and I like to make connections between uh, what I learned in science and my spiritual journey. So when I heard seven, I was like, when I, when I realized it was seven, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, because in the Bible, seven has always carried significance with it. Um, um, in relation to God, so I thought that was really cool. Even when you look at the visible region, Roy G. Biv, there are seven colors that we can see. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And I thought that was like, oh, interesting. Mm. Even like in the book of Revelations, how it talks about there are seven spirits of God, I thought, well, in First John one five it says God is light, and like seven regions. I thought like, oh, maybe there's some connection there. Uh, that's my own thinking, so <laughs> my own little interpretation there. I think um, that, that was really cool um, uh, when God just started like showing me these uh, different things um, in His creation. So. As I mentioned, the gamma UV X rays are uh, really powerful, really intense, and they can harm you. Um, then there's a visible region, which we can all see right now, and then the infrared, microwave, and radio waves, which are um, lo longer in wavelength, but we can't um, see those. Oh, we do. We can see its effects, or, or uh, feel its effects, know its effects. Uh, so as I thought about the question, like, why can't we see God physically? I think when we hear, like, when I mentioned, like, God is light, there is this really intense, powerful side of him. And if we saw him, um, like, with our physical, in our physical eyes, like, we'd die. And, like, just imagine looking at the sun, you know? Um, and even as we, uh, as I thought about the book, of Exodus in the story of Moses asking God, Lord, show me your glory. And God tells him, I can't let you see my face, but I can let you see my back. But um, you're going to, like, no one will live if you see, like, you can't see my face. You're going to die. Uh, but even uh, when God was gracious enough to let him see, like, there's a part of him at least, uh, uh, when Moses returned, to the people after his conversations with God, they can see the radiance coming um, from his face just from talking with the Lord. And so I thought that was uh, that was interesting. Like Moses got a little sunburn. <laughs> um, so, and then I thought about, in a way, well, God did show us himself in the visible region in the form of Jesus. And I thought that was really cool when I thought about that. Well, the spectrum idea. And then even beyond that, right now I can only see in the visible region. Um, I'm thankful that I can trust in a God who can see the future and has his best intentions for me. Um, and he can see the wavelengths that are beyond my present vision. So I can tell you honestly that a future in him is bright. <laughs> um, so those are my different little, uh, like, I guess revelations or different uh, things that I just found fascinating about studying with this topic. And so that's why I chose it as my design uh, for my graduation cap. Um, so thanks for listening to my story. All right. <laughs>